What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, it's your boy's birthday month, and I decided to give myself a birthday gift, an early birthday gift this year. So, I decided to change up my recording slash gaming room at the crib. I wanted to add some things, get some new things, and uh, replace some things. So, I definitely want to show you guys that. And some of you guys have peeped it. Uh, just uh, recently and how my setup has changed and you can kind of see certain things. Some of you guys have asked me, yo, what's up with the new PC? Can we get a you know, PC spec? Can we get the PC tour, you know, the gaming room tour? L let us know what's going on. So this video is for you guys, man. It's my birthday month. So I, I wanted to treat myself. Also, I want to make sure that I upgraded the equipment that I already needed or already have and try to make sure that my equipment is at top tier for you guys. So that way, you know, when I put out videos and, and content that everything will look good, like aesthetically wise, and you know, everything will be smooth when it comes to just bringing out the best content possible. So let's check out the new and improved gaming slash recording room. Well, here is the new gaming setup that I have slash recording setup. I'm gonna go through and let you guys know, you know, what each uh, thing is, like where you can possibly get it. And I'm gonna probably uh, put it in the description down below for those who are interested in getting some of these things for themselves, whether they're gonna start streaming, doing YouTube, or just wanna have it just to game possibly. I'm gonna try to link down everything in the description for you guys. So that way you guys can get in part on action too. So let's start with my monitor. This right here is a 24 inch Samsung Gaming Odyssey monitor CRG5 series. And I've been using this monitor actually for actually for about a year now. Um, I recently uh, decided to use this primarily as my editing monitor. But beforehand, when I was playing on the Xbox Series X, this is the monitor I got with it. Uh, it has a refresh rate of 144 hertz. The quality is 1920 by uh, 1080. So it's, it's standard quality, but it's the refresh rate. That's kind of what sells this monitor. And it's not too expensive. It's, you know, relatively not that pricey. I want to say like around 200, 200 and, you know, $50 in that price range. I got it from Best Buy. Um, and it, it worked perfectly at the time for me gaming and just, you know, streaming off of like watching, you know, the wrestling stuff or whatnot. So it was perfect for the gaming stuff, but I knew I wanted to get a, a better monitor, but I didn't want to get rid of it. So this is part of my editing monitor and it's connected to my MacBook. I wanted a bigger screen or whatnot. So I have it connected to my MacBook so that way I can edit, you know, a little, you know, I can see things a little bit more bigger on this screen. I use this adapter called the J5 Create. It has a whole bunch of different ports, USB ports, HDMI ports or whatnot. And basically it's connected to my MacBook or whatnot. And that way I'm able to just pretty much Whatever is on here, whatever is displayed on here, I can see on here. And it just makes it easier on my eyes to edit as well. This is also my MacBook Pro. Um, I've had this since last year as well. Uh, I actually got these, uh, the monitor and the Pro, roughly around the same time. Uh, I needed something to, you know, edit edit the videos on because my uh, old HP, um, it's just, it's been having so many issues because it's, it's old. So I needed something new. So I've been had this for a while and it's been definitely helpful in just the editing process or whatnot. Also got this from Best Buy. So it was, it, this was definitely kind of pricey. I think this was roughly around, uh, I want to say $2,000 for this MacBook Pro. Definitely pricey, but it was worth it in the end because I needed something that could edit the videos and the amount of videos we were editing um, or still editing on. And uh, the, my other laptop was just, it was just running slow was having a hard time editing the video so this is what i edit on this is the screen i use now and uh yeah man this is how i get my work done now right here is my shore mic and i love this microphone shout out to dub dub got me this microphone as a christmas gift i want to say two years ago 
I want to say it's been about two years ago. He got me this as a Christmas gift. Uh, and I love this mic. Yeah, it's a definitely look kind of a little fuzzy or whatnot. Because I usually take this microphone with me uh, to the studio. So I may need to invest in getting another one. Or I can have one at the office. We'll at the studio and one for here. So I'm going to keep taking it back and forth. But I love this microphone. Now, this microphone is, is roughly $400. But it is a microphone that's going to last you for a very long time. And um, it's also... A microphone that it sounds really good it's uh people record music like musical artists record using sure microphones so this is definitely worth the money if you want to get you one definitely you can find them on amazon uh really you can find them any well not anywhere but like maybe a guitar center or a music store these are worth worth the the price man uh also i use if you can see this this is a cloud lifter so anytime you're using that microphone with well, this particular microphone you need a cloud lifter to potentially amplify the sound so you definitely if you do get this get you a cloud lifter as well um you're probably going to need it um that cloud lifter is roughly an extra i want to say this was like extra 30 dollars at a uh, guitar center so relatively not that expensive but it's it's worth having um i also have this arm stand i just got this before I was using a table stand, but now I got me a, a, um, a arm stand, more stable one. Got this from Guitar Center, spent, spent about 60 bucks on it, but it's perfect because I can fully extend it. And when I'm recording, it's not in the way. And when I'm done recording, I can just kind of push it back into place and it's it's perfect for everything I need. I also have this M Audio Air Mixer. It comes with uh, uh, imports for it, like if you're trying to hook up a guitar or whatnot, you can also put it in there as well. But um, this was, I wanna say, roughly $150 at Guitar Center, but I have it for my microphone, obviously. And uh, it, it's, it's straightforward. I plug it in. Uh, it has a USB-C port on the back that I plug into my PC. And it's straightforward, you know, it, it could, you know, collects the sound and it, it just, it works the way I need it to work, man. So that's my audio setup uh, with the microphone, the cloud lifter and the mixer. All right, right here is my uh, Logitech webcam C922 Pro HD stream webcam. I got this for maybe a hundred dollars. You can find this uh, relatively, uh, not that expensive at a lot of places best buy micro center or you know you can even find this at walmart um it's a it streams at 1080p or captures at 1080p it's a decent webcam this is the webcam you've seen me uh in pretty much all my recent lives uh, anything that i've done a live stream reaction to i've used this webcam I also used this webcam the same one at this uh at the studio when we live stream on twitch so this is the webcam i use once again it's like a hundred dollars it's not that expensive but it's good for the price that you're paying and uh it records at 1080p so you know if you ever get into streaming definitely get the the logitech c922 pro it's worth your money i also have a key light this is the light i've been using since i've been recording for quite some time actually uh, i got this a long, long time ago, actually. I got this when I was still staying with my grandmother. So this was like around 2020. This is when I got this key light. At the time, it was like, I wanna say, uh, it was close to like $200, but I think it's much cheaper now. It's the Elgato key light. I think you can get it at Best Buy for like 130. Uh, it's perfect. And I have it set up where uh, there's an app that you can download where uh, like a control center app where basically I can control the brightness and uh, the tint of the light, whether how, you know, if it's a warm shade or a more of a bluer shade or a more pure white shade of light coming through it. Uh, I can control that through my phone. I can also control that through the control center on my computer as well. So I like being able to control the light without actually touching it or messing with it. So uh, I think that is pretty cool as well so definitely you need you a nice key like you don't need anything too harsh or overbearing if you're trying to do some recordings this is perfect for you know just doing some streaming or just doing some youtube videos so right here is the camera that i use to record <laughs> all my videos for the past few years it's the canon power shot uh g7x mark ii i got this camera for like 
I want to say 500 close to like $500 maybe, I think, uh, a few years ago. I actually used some of my stimulus money to get this camera. I got it from the Canon website. And uh, yeah, man, I've been using this camera for, for, for some years now, but I think it's time for me to upgrade it. So I probably will invest in getting another camera relatively soon, but quality is good. It shows that, you know, shoots at uh, 1920 by 1080. Uh, I don't think it has 4K capabilities on this one, but it, it gets the job done. It's a perfect camera for vlogging as well. Uh, if you have one of them handheld tripods, this is the perfect vlogging camera. And got a regular tripod stand and I got this from uh, Best Buy like $30 wasn't too expensive yes I know the cable management is horrible but hey I'm, I'm gonna try to figure that out also I have this gaming chair right here I don't even know what the brand is on this I got this many years ago uh I want to say I got this uh once again when I was still staying with my grandmother at the time um so I got this from micro center I think it was on sale for like 200 like it was like $250 maybe. I don't know what brand this is, but it's, it's, it's done me justice. You know what I'm saying? It saved my back from plenty of uh, painful nights. Um, so yeah, I don't even think they still have this at Micro Center. Uh, I'll try to find it for you guys and link it if you guys want to uh, pick it up. But yep, this is my gaming chair that I've had for many, many years now. So I finally decided to go wireless with some headphones and I decided to go with the Astro A50s, man. It comes with the charging deck, and I think this is the Astro A50s that go for the Xbox in PC only, and I like this. Now, the setup is kind of weird. Astro needs to work on their setups when it comes to like how to update the firmware. I had to find a YouTube video on how to update the firmware. It's it's really weird. Astro needs to do better with that. But I've always liked Astro uh, headsets. Uh, I've had the Astro A40s at one point with the mix amp for a very, very long time until they just uh, went out on me. I think one of the cables or whatnot was messed up. And then uh, I recently got some uh, Astro, I wanna say A10s. Um, the relatively cheaper ones, but they're still good quality. I got those and I've been using those. I even have a pair at the, at the studio. But these A50s, I definitely wanted these because of the wireless uh, capabilities and the fact I can just put it on a dock. Comes with a charging station and I love the, you know, I can mess around with the EQ settings on the application as well. And this is, I just like the comfort of the headphones. Great quality, granted it, these were kind of pricey on the pricey side, I wanna say I spent about a good, uh, it was like almost $300 for these. But at the same time, I love the wirelessness of it, like me not I have to worry about wires and it just cooks up to my computer very easily, don't have any issues with it. And uh, if you're looking to have some good gaming headsets, these are the ones to go with, so definitely check them out. Uh, and if you don't want to spend that much money, you can get the the, uh, the A40s with the mix amp. I think that's still roughly around 150 or whatnot, or I think maybe $200. And then you can get the A10s, um, which are the wired-in ones, much cheaper, but they still good quality, and I believe those are like $60. So it's really just up to your discretion on how much you willing to pay. Right here, I have a Power A Fusion Pro Controller. Reason why it's called a Pro Controller, because it has paddles on the back. Now, I took off the other three paddles because I don't really need them. I use this paddle as my A button or whatnot, and I, I like it, man. I, I don't feel like paying as much for the traditional Xbox Pro controller. Uh, I believe that one's like still like $180. And I think this is just as good. In my opinion, I haven't had any real issues with it. I have it hooked up to my PC. So whenever I, I'm playing a game of, of Call of Duty or whatever, um, I just be, you know, using my controller. But eventually I will get into the mouse and keyboard world and start trying to mess around with that, see if I can get good with that. Um, I also like the fact that with this, you can change the faceplate and, you know, you can mess around with uh, these right here. You can change these out. Uh, you can change out the thumbsticks as well if you want a different style thumbstick. It comes with uh, different uh, buttons, thumbsticks, and uh, now the, the plate itself, 
I actually have another uh, a Powerade Pro Controller, um, but that one I had had for like maybe two years, maybe a year and a half, and I started to get some uh, stick uh, stick drift, so I ended up getting me a new one. And that's because I was playing a lot of <laughs> a lot of Warzone, a lot of Call of Duty, so I was on that heavy, and it, you know, after a while, just controllers naturally will get stick drift. So, but this one right here has, has been holding me down for a bit, and I'm, I just changed the name, uh, the faceplate from the other one to this one. And uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm definitely rocking with it. Um, it's I want to say it's like eighty dollars. It's eighty. It's like eighty eighty five dollars. I got it from Best Buy. So uh, if you want to have you a, a nice decent controller where you can control the the panels on the back, uh, this is this is the go where you don't want to have to break the bank. It also has trigger stops as well. So that way, you know, when you press in the triggers, they don't go all the go all the way in. It's perfect for S, uh, FPS games. So yeah, man, it, it's literally everything you would need in like a pro controller without paying the, the ridiculous price point that xbox be charging or, or all these other places they charge uh for a pro controller with programmable buttons so i rocks with it i also got this little controller stand got this from amazon i just found this on amazon i'll try to link it in the description uh down below uh it comes with a two pack or whatnot and it's perfect you just stick it on here and it stays there hosting controllers safe and, and, and firm and uh can't go wrong with that. Now for my keyboard, I got the Razer Huntsman V2. Now this one was a little bit on the pricey side. Um, this cost me, I wanna say, um, $180. Well, it was like $189 or something like that. But I love it. I love the responsiveness of the keys and I love the RGB light setup. Um, Razer has an app where as soon as you plug it in, it's connected to it. Uh, to the app and you can just kind of change up how you want your keys to move so if I press a certain key or whatnot I can have it set up where it's like reactive so it'll make a wave of color for each key I press but right now I have it just on this uh, spectrum mode spectrum wave mode and I love it man and it comes with the, the little armrest pad it's actually detachable it's it's like a little magnet right here so all you got to do is just slide it into place and that's it so I love this keyboard. It looks nice. It's very, it's, you know, gives a nice little responsive click anytime you click on it. And uh, even though it's a little pricey, it's definitely something that I can see myself using <laughs> for a very long time. I'm not gonna be one of those people that rage at a game and break this keyboard. I'm, I'm just not doing that. I also got the Razer Basilisk X Hyperspeed Mouse. I have this and I love the responsiveness on here. And also you can set it up on the razor app as well to you know adjust its speed to your liking so and you know switch up the buttons there's little side buttons right here on the side that you can use to click on as well so i like it uh i have it set on the uh, usb mode it also has a bluetooth mode but i have it hooked up usb in a usb port but uh yeah man love this love this mouse it is perfect for you know just whatever i need it for you know if i want to start using the mouse and keyboard i definitely can do that with this mouse right here this mouse pad right here is by steel series qck prism cloth love it it's not too big i didn't need a big one it's a decent size and it has the rgb lighting i kind of wanted to go with the rgb lighting setup uh with the keyboard and the mouse pad uh, and it, it comes you can download the app and you can customize the lighting settings on however you want it to be as well on here. So I like the customization on here. And it was like $30. It wasn't too, too expensive. So if you want you a, just a, a nice looking mouse pad, it's not too big, and that you can customize on your computer, definitely go with the QCK Prism Cloth. This is the AOC Gaming CQ27G3S. And I love this monitor, man. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, it has 165 hertz, one millisecond response time. The resolution is 2560 by 1440 2K resolution. And I love it. I love it. it it's something that uh, I definitely was looking for. Uh, coming from this one, um, where this is at uh, 1920 by 1080 to this is a nice substantial upgrade. I also have a 2K monitor at the studio. Granted, that monitor has uh, 240 hertz and this one's at 165 but nevertheless i love this i got this 
from Micro Center. It was on sale. I think this was like 280. Uh, this monitor. This is a 27 inch uh, gaming monitor, and it's perfect for what I needed for it. It's curved as well, and uh, definitely I just like the quality on it. The game looks good on it as well, and I'm enjoying it so far. So this is definitely worth the investment. And finally, the main event, which I've all been waiting for, my new PC setup. Boy, I love this right here, man. Oh, man, I love this PC. Bro, this shit looks so beautiful. Let me go ahead and give you the specs because I know this is what y'all been asking. It's running an AMD Ryzen 7 5700G 3.8 gigahertz processor, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti, 8 gigabytes of GDDR6, 32 gigabytes DDR4, 3200 RAM, one terabyte of solid state drive, Microsoft Windows 11 Pro. And uh, yeah, man, this is my baby. This is, this. I love this, bro. I, I love, I love the look of it. It was already pre-built like this. So um, if anything, I could have probably got a diff different casing, um, but it was already pre-built like this. And uh, this is the, the cooling unit and whatnot. I like the fact that it does come with an app um, and I was able to hook up the app to the Razer app. And now I was able to use the same type of settings that I have on my keyboard on the cooling system or whatnot with the RGB light setup. So uh, I like that feature that it came with, but bro, this this is this is nice. It even has the RGB light up on a GeForce RTX uh, graphics card. Now the one I have at the studio, that's running a 3070 Ti. Um, it doesn't have the the RGB light up on the graphic card on that one. That one's a, a little bit more stronger. But uh, for the pricing of this, this was actually on sale at Micro Center. I paid, uh, it was like 1500 It was like $1,599, so roughly around $1,600. Um, the one that I got, the 3070 Ti, when I got it earlier this year, the one at the studio, I paid a, a little bit more for that one. I paid roughly, it was like, roughly 1900 just for that one just for the pc itself so um yeah i decided to get something that's not as strong as the one i have at the studio but it's also not breaking the bank and this one was on sale so i decided to get it but i love it bro love this pc and i'm gonna be doing uh, a lot of gaming on here uh, i'm gonna be streaming on here as well uh, doing the live stream reactions on the new pc so be on the lookout for that um and yeah man this is this is the setup right here and this is it this is the new gaming slash recording setup i hope you guys enjoyed the tour man uh this has been a long time coming man like i i've really been you know just very thankful for you guys showing me love and and being a part of this journey like i remember me recording with a lamp from walmart and my iPhone <laughs> and a microphone that we had been using that we got from, I believe we got from Amazon to now where I'm at, you know, right now, you know, recording with a sure mic, have two most, you know, two curved monitors, a key light, webcam, a nice, decent, uh, decently powerful PC. Um, like, I'm just very thankful for it. And you know, I, none of this is possible without your guys help. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for just helping me get to this point. And you know, I'm gonna use all this equipment, you know, to make sure I bring the best possible or continue to bring the best possible content to you guys. So I love you guys so much. Thank y'all for all the love and support. Now I'm about to go and try to edit this video for you guys so you guys can enjoy my new gaming slash recording setup i love you guys appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all on the next one peace